Hello there. Greetings and salutations, one and all. Never fear. Your Star Wars dad is here, and I am here with a 26-month update on my free-to-play account. I've been playing this account free-to-play for 26 months. Not a dime spent, nothing going on. Take your progress, compare it to mine. Let me know how your account is, how old your account is. Tell me in the comments what's going on. Do me a favor, though, before you do all that. Do something that will benefit the galaxy and your family for a long time to come. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, smash them. I don't care. Do something. Get me in your feed. Like the video so other people watch it. Let's build a big community here. Do the liking and subscribing. Okie dokie. Where was I? I got this thing over here. Yes. So before we get into the 26-month the, uh, update, let's take a look at 25 months. And of course, what we're doing is we're going after Jedi Master Kenobi right now. We unlocked Executor in between 24 and 25 months. So let's look at... Uh, this is 25 months. All right. So... I'm farming Jedi Master Kenobi, and this is me a month ago. I had Grandmaster Yoda done. I also had Jedi Master Kenobi done, but you can see that I was working on the Savage Press Relic. Um, I've got a Darth Nihilus Gear 11 there. Working on the Arc Trooper Cad Bane Echo. Working on that stuff. Kind of the 500 first is on the side, but I need to get it done. Uh, low gray, I actually reliced on that video. So if you go back and watch the video, you'll see me relic low gray. But then let's take a look at uh, another little image here of your Star Wars dad. And you can see on this one um, that I had Grievous Relic 3, I had Shock T Gear 11, Magna Guard Relic 1, Cad Bane Gear 12. Keep those four in mind. Keep those four in mind. Cad Bane Gear 12, Grievous 3, Shock T 11, IG Magna Guard Relic 1. What? All these guys. We've made tremendous, tremendous progress in the last month and i was at 4.8 million galactic power right now i'm at 5 million 73 thousand galactic power shock t is almost done i have a relic five right now up here at the top jangle fed hasn't moved quiet i'm gonna get up to gear 12 i'm working on him i got these uh, uh what, what's right these are killing me actually i'm way behind on this piece right here i need to start requesting it every day and i'm always behind on these i can't keep up with that piece of gear um, then what? I got up to gear 12. Mace is at gear 12. Working these guys in the bottom row, but let's go and take a look at our, uh, if we look at our journey guide here, and we look at these characters. Uh, you saw Cad Bane was gear 12. Well, I finished Cad Bane. IG Magnaguard was Relic 1. I finished IG Magnaguard. Uh, IG 100 Magnaguard, right. Grievous was Relic 3. I took him to Relic 7. He is finished. So he finished off five piece of the, pieces of this. I'm going to finish off Shock T here very soon. Django Fett will be very soon. Then Watt, Qui-Gon. Then we move on to the lesser pieces down here. Uh, you know, just these like, these four are the last ones I want to do. I, I'm not interested in I uh, So right now, I think when I come back to you at 27 months, I'll have this top row all done. These guys will be done. And then I'll be spending the next amount of time getting these, these four on the bottom row finished. And then, boys and girls, we'll be going to get Jedi Master Kenobi. I think that'll be mid-April that we'll get Jedi Master Kenobi. So stay tuned to the channel for that. That's not where I want to go. I'm trying to go and look at the, the journey guide just to make sure nothing's amiss here in my Jedi Master Kenobi journey. We are at level 85. We do have General Kenobi and Negotiator done. Mace, Isla, Bo-Katan, Quinn, Qui-Gon, Clone Sergeant Watt. We showed you those guys. IG, Magnaguard is done. Why do I keep saying IG, Mag... Magnaguard. Magnaguard's done. Grievous is done. Cad Bane's done. We got Cody, Django, Shock T. You saw Django and Shock T are just a couple of work, a few relic level relic levels away. So yeah, I'm I'm targeting mid-April for this. If we get lucky and get quicker, that would be awesome. We'll I'll start farming tickets in mid-April. Now I know that tickets are out there for crystals right now, and I don't know where to find those. Can somebody let me know? I was kind of trolling around here, but there's so many things to go through here and I well maybe I should go back to that journey and click on the tickets and see if I can find where they are because I don't know where these things are sitting but I know you can buy them for crystals maybe you can only buy them when you're actually oh no there it is right there there it is right there so I may save up some crystals and get this currency so I can do it faster maybe well this is only every week right only got 1,100 crystals right now. I 
I can't afford. Well, I'm about to get my Grand Arena rewards. Grand Arena's done. How much time we get left? Two days and eight hours. Let's wait and see. I'm going to come in here to the weekly shipment, and I think I'm going to start buying these. Now, can I only hold 144 of them? That'll be interesting to see. I don't know. We're, we're going to play around with that in the coming weeks to see what's going on. I'll let you know. Where are we with ships? So as far as ships go, um, I haven't really done much with ships at all, actually, now that I'm saying it out loud. I, I've just... I, I finished off... I actually was working on... Um, I actually haven't touched my ships hardly at all. And, and we'll talk about the long term. I always look at Smuggler. It's not Smuggler, it's Cargo Ship. I always want to say Smuggler. I did finish off the Outrider to 7 stars because I will go to get to Profundity at some point here. The Outrider is done. But yeah, ships I haven't really been touching much at all, to be honest. I've really been letting them sit there. I do have a bunch of... Uh, I'm on Cargo Ship. I was like, where are all my ships? I, I do have a... I have been getting a bunch of material for upgrades from the shop here. I've been buying a lot of this, but I gotta get this guy to six stars first. And I did refresh this once last month. I'm gonna try to refresh it every month, save up enough crystals, do a refresh on the 15th of the month when you have the event, so I can be getting 20 shards a month. That would mean in four, if I can do that, 20, I need 60, so that'd be three months I'd have it at six stars, and then 100, and another five months I'd have it at seven stars. So I'm gonna try and do a refresh every month on that so I can get the the uh, executor seven star as fast as possible without blowing a wad of crystals. Now, what are the future plans for this account after I get Jedi Master Kenobi? Here's what's gonna happen, boys and girls. I'm gonna I'm gonna slow roll it for a couple for a couple of months because I've got a lot of side teams that need a lot of work. I mean, you can start right. You can see them right here on the screen. Mando. Beskar Mando, I need to get him up for my uh, for my fleet, for my executor. In fact, I think I can get his second Zeta. No, no, I can't quite get it. I'm not excited about that, but, you know, it helps the ship a lot. Um, Arc Trooper, Echo, I gotta get the... And Rex, I gotta get those three up so they work with gas. My gas has been working really well with these guys in the gear 12, but I've gotta get them relic. I gotta get that done. That's a priority. I have a lot of characters here. If you look at like my Revens, Relic 3, Relic 3, Relic 3 on CLS, um, Relic 3 on Malik. I've got to fix all this stuff. Relic 3 on 5s. I need to get more Relic levels. Basilshan 3, Jolie Bindo 3, Dark Trooper 4. I need to get these guys more. So I need to spend time getting more Relic levels, finishing off some teams. I got to work on my on my Geos a little bit. I need to get Savage up above to like, to like Relic 7. I need him at Relic 7. 3PO and Chewie, I need to get up to Relic 7. B2, the, the, my Grievous team has got to be higher Relic levels. I need, I need to work on all that stuff. Gideon, my Imperial Trooper team, I got to finish. Darth Nihilus, I got to finish. Scion, I've got to finish. So I've got to work on getting more Relic levels and get these teams up to snuff. And one more, well, two more teams I'm working on too. Um, the Geos, I need to get up to Gear 12 across the board. I just... They, they've got to be better for my ships, and I'll probably Relic Geospy, but I've got to get them up for my ships so that, that uh, my Malevolence is capable of beating bigger fleets. Right now, it's it's really hurting with these low gear, you know, Sunfag, Soldier, and Spy. I could do Sunfag right now, but honestly, it's so many Carbantes. I, I, this is just barely enough Carbantes to take Sunfag to Gear 9, and then I'd be stuck there, and it would cost me some other stuff. So I'm going to be waiting on this, but i got to get it done. And then one more thing. I, I want to do this before the next Night Sister Assault Battle. I want these guys, I want the, so I've already got a Saj up at Relic level for the, uh, for the gas event. I want to get the whole team up there. I'm not going to do her leader ability. I want to get the whole team, the rest of this team up to gear 12 and probably take Daka to Relic. I want this team to be available and I need to do that Assault Battle. That Assault Battle needs to be something I'm doing every month and getting tier two of it done. Tier challenge tier two. Challenge tier one for sure. And I think if I get these guys to gear 12, I could do challenge tier one. And when I get DACA up to like relic five, I can probably get challenge tier do two done as well. And you're gonna take DACA up to seven. You know, her relic levels are just tremendous for her getting all that health onto DACA. And that's what I'm working on guys. So that's gonna take me time. That's probably gonna be I'm probably going to spend three months, 
So we look at April, mid-April, getting Jedi Master Kenobi. Kenobi. Where is General Master Kenobi? Where is Kenobi? Kenobi. Kenobi. Um, I'm going to probably spend two or three months working on, on all that stuff. Relicking these three guys, the Mandos, um, these other relic levels. While I'm doing these other relic levels, I can actually hoard some gear maybe if I'm not spending it on Geos and Night Sisters. So that could be kind of fun to hoard some gear finally. And when we get that done, boys and girls, because I'm going to work on my, I'm going to work on these troopers. Let me show you my Imperial troopers. I'm going to be getting, I'm going to be relicking Veers and Stark as well because this, I need an all relic trooper team. I may have to get range up there to get it done, but I got to get through that final tier of that assault battle, uh, the uh, Rebel Roundup, and that's the team will do it. Or maybe Mando will do it for me too. Um, but once I do that, it's going to be a pretty quick train to uh, to Sith Eternal Emperor. And that's where I'm going to go next. Uh, it is it, it, One thought to do is Starkiller, but just the Kyrotex. I might be able to save a bunch of Kyrotex in the meantime. That's brutal. But if you look at Sith Eternal, right now I have Palpatine and Vader done. Piet is done. I'll need Royal Guard, Krennic, these four Sith, Sidious, Maul, Nuke, Dooku, Marauder. Got the TIE Bomber done. Anakin is just more... I've got him at Relic 5 right now. Thrawn will have to... I'll actually have to go finish my Phoenix team. No, will I? Do I have Thrawn on this account? Six, five stars. Yeah, <laughs> I've not finished the Phoenix team. The Phoenix team is sitting there unfinished, boys and girls. <laughs> so I have to do that, but... Tarkin is is already gear 12, I think, and Veers and Stark. So it'll just be one, two, three, one, two, six, seven, eight more rel I mean, I, it's it's gonna be a fast trip to Sith Eternal. So I'll spend, you know, three months or so getting up a bunch of teams. Then I'll probably just spend two months getting to Sith Eternal. So I would think that if I do that mid-April, then three months there, July, I think. Probably September, September, I'll be able to get Sith Eternal. Once I get Sith Eternal then done, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip over and get Star Killer, and I'm gonna start farming for Jabba and Jedi Master Luke because Jabba's too important to leave undone right now. That's what's going on with the future of my account. So by the end of the year, what's that gonna look like? By the end of the year, um, by the end of the year, I'll have Scream Leader Kylo Ren, I'll have Jedi Master Kenobi. I'll have Sith Eternal Emperor. I'll have a seven star executor. I'll have Star Killer. And I'll be working on Luke and Jabba for the early part of 2024. You gotta plan these things ahead, guys. I'd like to get Ray at some point. I just like Ray, but we'll see how that works down the road. There'll be another Galactic Legend coming, which who knows? I may pony up for that on my uh, Hyperdrive account. That's it, guys. That's 26 months of free-to-play farming. Let me know where your account sits, what your future plans are. If you see something I should be working on that I'm not, I'd love to hear about it. Please, everybody, do the liking and subscribing. Consider membership. It's available. I'll see you on the next stream. We're doing we're doing these uh, new, like, chill hangout uh, uh, streams with my members. It was a lot of fun. Today was the first one. I do it multiple times per week. We actually came up with a new meme for the channel. I created a new intro for our newest level Masters member. And we just had fun just kind of hanging out and talking and, and chilling together. That was a good time. So consider that membership. Do the liking and subscribing. And of course, as you go throughout your day and you talk to your friends and family and you do your work and you live your life and you contribute to society, always, always remember, Nooch too good.